from your that thing, true blue oldie. A present for you, sire. From your subject. Oh, a present. Nothing I like more than... Confounded a TV set. I already have a TV set. But look, this one is special. These suction cups must hold it to the ceiling. But how can I see? You just crank back your throne and watch TV lying down. Well, now that's something. Perfect for watching the next cartoon on our show. <laughs> In our last episode, disaster had struck Bongo Congo. The giant assembly line of the Bongo Congo Bongo plant had come to a sudden halt, as throughout the world, bongo players discovered there was no bong in the bongos. Why? Because Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother had been at work sabotaging the drums, keeping them from the shrinking tank which tightened the drum heads. Although the King and Odie discovered what had been happening, the problem was not solved. Sire, the countries who once purchased our drums no longer have faith in our product. And True Blue Odie was right. The world looked for a new source from which to purchase bongo drums. <laughs> Gee, Big, uh, that's like a real fine sign. Uh, buy Biggie's better bongos uh, cheaper by the dozen. We're gonna be rich, Itch. We'll have the tallest plant in the world. And back in the palace... I'll issue a royal proclamation. I'll command the world to buy our drum. No, no, sire. But I do believe there is a way. Advertising. We must call in an advertising agency. Bully! Bully for you, true blue oldie. And only two days later, representatives from Dribble, Drabble, and Tripe, top New York ad agency, were presented to the king. Glad to make your acquaintance, king. I'm I.C. Spots. This is Bill Board, one of our top gray flannel mouth men. Good, very good indeed. Now, what is your plan? Haven't had time to really grease the cylinders yet, but we're all gassed up to go. Thought we'd just throw the problem out on the table and kick it around. Excuse me, king. Now, what you need for your bongos is a real product change. Right, Bill? You tell them, chief. We've got to have something with real punch. Right, forward? And you, uh, you tell them, chief. But how will you improve our bongos? Uh, let's see now. And while the men wrestled with this weighty problem, the fortunes of Big Inichi grew ever greater. Uh, gee, Big, uh, can't we uh, start slowing the growing? The stairs are like wearing me thin. Quiet, drumhead. We'll put in an elevator. And back at the palace. I've got it. We put a filter on each side of the bongos. And our slogan, filter out those harsh tones. It'll knock them dead. Right, Bill? You tell them, Chief. No, no, there are no harsh tones from Bongo Congo Bongos. Okay, okay, you're the client. Don't get so touchy. And back with Big Energy. I'm telling you, Big, uh, we're like uh, getting a slant in our plant. Uh, it's too tall. Stop worrying. And back in the palace. No, I got it. We make the drums out of steel instead of wood. And our slogan, a steel at any price. It's dynamite. <laughs> right, board? <laughs> but we have no steel in Bongo Congo. Mm-hmm. That is a problem. And Biggie's better bongo plant. Uh, come on now, Big. The uh, beams in our building are like uh, bending. Bosh. And back at the palace. I've got it. This time for sure. Look at these pictures of bongo players. Notice anything unusual? No. They're bent over as always. That's it. They're bent. Bent because they're always sitting down to play the bongos. But of course, one must sit to play the bongos. Not anymore. We're building in a stand with every bongo, congo, bongo. Bongo players will finally straighten out. Bully for us. We'll advertise on every TV show in the world. And our slogan? Yes. yes. Stand up for bongo, congo, bongos. Stand up for bongo, congo, bongos. And soon this was the phrase on everyone's lips. King Leonardo's bongos with a built-in stand sold like hotcakes. And in another part of town, sales slipped away from Biggie and Itchy, and their business crumbled around their ears. Ow! The bong is back in the bongos. The bong is back in the bongos. The bong yes, all was well again with King Leonardo. But there were sinister shadows in the background, shadows which spelled trouble. 
Don't miss the next exciting episode of The King and Odie.